Hello and welcome to Bland Man Studios, where I make creative stuff and talk about the technology behind it. Today I fixed my Pinephone keyboard, and I'm going to show you how you can too. If you watched my unboxing video, you know that a few minutes in the phone stopped responding to button presses from the keyboard. And that's because the pogo pins on the back of the phone that connect to the keyboard stopped making contact. Well, the answer is to slide a small shim in behind the contacts on the keyboard so they stick out a little further and connect to the phone more consistently. It can be a little scary physically modifying a device that you just bought, so I'm going to walk you through the procedure. There's also a link in the description to the troubleshooting docs, so let's get started. Okay, so I have successfully shimmed the keyboard, and I'm going to remove this shim and put in a different one just so that you can see the process. So I'm going to mark where it is so that we can see exactly how deep it was and let us remove it. It actually takes a surprising amount of force to pull out. I might have jammed it in hard enough that it grabbed some glue. So with my little homemade ruler here, we see that it was a little less than a centimeter in. For yours, it'll be a little slower because there will be some glue that it'll have to peel up, but basically it just gives enough that you can see it start to bend. And that's enough that you can then just take your folded piece of paper and, well, slide it under. Now mine's loose enough that I can just slide it under. And I'm using cardstock. So now you can see I got it in just under a centimeter. And then I'm going to cut off all that spare. That was probably a bad idea because now it's going to be difficult to yank out, but I can always grab some like needle nose pliers and yank on it. And now we can plug in our pine phone. And with that, you got a working Pinephone keyboard. Thanks for watching.